So there is one final data type that I thought it was worth doing a separate video on, and that is the Boolean data type. So a Boolean data type is something that can either be true or false. You can think of it as either being on or off, like a light switch. And it's something that's incredibly fundamental to JavaScript and to many other programming languages as well, because you use these Boolean values to base your decisions on. For example, is a user logged in? If it's true, then you can give them access to a certain resource. Does a customer have their email sending preferences set to true? If so, we're allowed to send emails out to them. You can see by having these true or false values, we're able to decide what our JavaScript program should do. And we'll be looking at how to do this later on in the course using if statements. We'll also be looking at how to create a Boolean using something called a Boolean expression, which is basically the result of comparing two values together. So for example, here I've created a variable overdrawn and I've actually assigned it the value of true. But what I could do is say set the value of overdrawn equal to the balance and check whether it's smaller than zero. So this balance is less than zero is what we call a Boolean expression. And when we come to look at if statements, we'll dive into these in a bit more detail. But I just wanted to show you that you can set a variable to true or false, but it's more common to be assigned from the result of a Boolean expression like this. So as I say, Booleans and Boolean expressions are really crucial and fundamental to JavaScript development. So you'll be learning lots more about them as the course goes on.